what is up boys in this video what we'll be doing is very very interesting we'll be checking out a game made by awoken studios these are the same guys that made uh, era of uh, athlea now they're in a dragon ball game as you can see this is shenron and goku and also flying nimbus um it's a new game it has japanese lettering of course for some reason i don't know why but it's called Sina online it's a hardcore fighting game with roots derived from the classic hit series dragon ball c the game is a blend of high-paced combat, plan to score and exploration. Now I won't read all of this, but you understand the game. It is a hardcore fighting game. I will buy this right here and we'll be getting right into it. Before we do that, subscribe right here. See, subscribe right here and we'll get right back into it. Alright, so let's just get into the game and let's see what happens. Peace out. Boom, we're in the loading screen. Let's get right into this is the menu. They have updates. They show probably we're gonna show the updates. No updates yet. They show the credits. Um, so yeah, so we click play right. Let's get right into it. This is the loading screen. As you can see, very, very nice. Very, very clean. We're in the game right now, and it says shoot your engine. Remember that this can't be changed. All right, main spawning. I feel what, what kind of what race am I? I'm not saying what I am. I click M. The stuff is showing up. I don't know what the hell I am. I'm five years old, but I don't know what I am. What do you call this thing? So we're currently in the game, as you can see right here. I'm flying at the moment, and I got killed instantly as I joined. Can record at all. But as you can see, this is blocking. This is the combat, and basically, I'm a. Um, I'm basically an alien race, so um, there are lethal blows and my life force is 80. Pretty much, I'll show you the game, and this is basically a dragon rogue lineage, a dragon ball rogue lineage. Pretty easy to understand. So, we want to go up there, people are there, so I want to show you them and the races that are available. This is free series, as you can see. Let me just fight this guy. Me, so I just show you the combat around how it works. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sitting at that wall. Pretty much imagine a rogue lineage, but more like a. We can capture planets and stuff. And this is the combat, as you see. It can be like this. Damn. So, shit, is up, bro. Jeez. We're comboing, as you can see, we're comboing each other. That's insane, bro. And this is combat, but imagine a more robotic like uh, game, but like it's more Dragon Ball. Damn it. Jeez, B basically, this is combat. B the game is pretty good. Um, if I die right here, I'll be showing you the next. I'll be, I'll be showing you the next uh, after that. So pretty much where you go after you die is this place, Shenron Gate. So you can fly. You're basically just supposed to take this way and you need to go to heaven after you've died three times. So I, I just killed myself three times and I came here. Pretty much. If you didn't know that, that is the truth. Yes, yes, very interesting to do that. Whoa. I will have to fly a lot, bro. Here's fly over everything I can. That'll be easier. Damn. But pretty much, you understand. I just be. I, I, I think I'll be skipping to the part when I'm actually there. This is real. F so pretty much, after you flew for like 50 minutes, it's really long, by the way. So if you wanna die and come here, it's like. So basically, you teletransport yourself to King Kai and you hold this for like a minute. And basically. 
we're gonna, uh, I guess, revive or something. I really have no idea. I've not played this game before, but uh, everything is, is inspired by Dragon Ball. So this extra lengthy road is basically just to basically, you know, the actual Shenron road is supposed to be long. But yeah, I don't know why this takes a long time though. This, I don't know, maybe they like to make us wait. That's what they call the hardcore, whatever. Yeah. And uh, this is the King Tides planet. We'll be checking that out right here. And we are in. We have 2000 seconds to be here. For some reason, we don't have that much time. Maybe it's the gravity right here. I guess we train in the gravity. We're supposed to speak to Fortune Tell Bob, but I don't know where Bob is though. Oh, this is oh shit, that's a player, oh no. Damn And this is a trainer. I speak to him, oh, he fucked the red truth, man. Yeah, I am. Oh, I'm not, okay. Anyway, we just have to find a Fortune Teller, which I don't know where she is actually. Says of it's gonna find me. Pretty much, I want to spar me. I don't want to have the fortune teller this, but uh, pretty much we just spar. I don't know, maybe our set squad will spar here, but the gravity is insane. You can see how slow I am. But I don't know where Bob is now, but pretty much you fight here. I'm supposed to fight. It's a shame, not gonna be it. So I beat him. So basically you, you understand the game pretty much, it is very simple. And you fight here to get your stats up and stuff. It's pretty easy to understand. Check out the game yourself.